Yeah, Kyle been my homie, man. You know what the fuck going on. My, my shit is Mafia City. Designer okay. Mafia. Most that's definitely. That's Lacey. That's Uno. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's Uno. Know. And that's Mouthpiece who ain't here right now. You know what I'm saying? Most and definitely. And my, my, uh, my producer, RJ. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. He do everything. That's where I do all my music at. And that's where everybody at. Okay, so now one thing I got to ask you, bro, you do a lot of good numbers, man. 10 million streams, that's not easy to do. And a lot of the numbers that you're doing, videos got a budget and shit. What made you finally say, fuck the street life and take music serious? And when did you begin to see that, okay, you can definitely do this shit full time? Uh, to be honest, the shit that made me be like, fuck the street shit was the way the motherfuckers was treating me. I was on... Uh, that shit called. Oh, nah, it wasn't house arrest. What's the extra shit? Where I had the little curfew and all the extra. I had all the extra shit, whatever it was. And they came in, they kept busting in on me and shit. My child, my son was there and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And just seeing my son and see me like have to go through like my street shit, like personal. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I might have talked about it in songs. Like, I got songs with, like, all the squishes out and blow down in my son's face. All this shit. It didn't matter until my son was crying. And, you know what I'm saying, 12, like, man, call me sir, I'm taking you to jail. Mm. Bitch ass niggas. So, when it was that, at that point, it was like, that's when shit hit. And then, to be honest, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 that hit me. But, like, I, after that, I lost everything. You know what I'm okay. saying? And I realized, you feel me? I've been doing this shit in the streets. For what I've been doing there, a lot of people know how West been moving. Mr. Snow Bunny, you know what I'm saying? Snowed in since forever. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but snow bitches. But, uh, <coughs> none of that shit mattered because nobody was there for me. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, it was the way, like, family said shit to me. Like, when I fell off, like, you had people like saying you just, just a pimp. You know, this is weird shit. But like when you down, everybody, you know what I'm saying. None of this shit you did matter. Okay. When you up, all your money and everything you do matter. So that where one of I wanted to change it. Where like okay, it's a narrative. It's only how y'all look at me is from what I what I built. We built something a little different. My children gotta gotta live through who I am. Most you definitely. Know what I'm saying so. And then at the same time, to keep it funky, I just, I, I mean, you know, I was watching a lot of billionaires talk shit, and a billionaire said, like, you gotta blur the line, like, you gotta be right there with damn near cheating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I was like, fuck it. Most definitely, bro. And he fucked the game up. Yeah. Now, shout out to Uno Red, you know, she's the one that, you know, put us in tune. You know, you're doing your thing. I actually saw you at a uh, video shoot, you know, and I know, oh, that's who Uno's trying to hook me up with. And I definitely loved your energy, bro. I fuck with your energy now, shit. Yeah. And um, one thing I got to ask you about, man, you definitely show a lot of love. Who are you currently trying to work with right now? Or who are you, what are you putting in uh, rotation right now? Uh, the only people I'm working with is who my, uh, who my people connect me with. Okay. Right now... He like, you know what I'm saying? My people told me to put some shit together. You're going to try to connect me with Mayno. Okay. Like I said he got me with the Davies joint. That's, this is shit that ain't, that's unreleased. You feel major. Me? That's some major shit. Uh, he really pushing to put me and Jay to kiss together on some shit. Okay. So, everything he do, I just fight rock with him. My nigga, like, he believe in me, you know what I'm saying? Like, he know the hustle, he know, but he know the lyrics and shit. So, we just working on some shit. Got some shit on the table. But those, that's what's on the table with the artists. I don't really, <coughs> oh yeah, this motherfucker, Miss Matter 22 want me to do a song with Kevin Gates, you know what I'm saying, that's her. I think that'll be big. You know what I'm saying? I, be uh, big. I was, about, I, I, honestly, I almost brought him out here to do a show, you know what I'm saying, a couple years back, before I went through my bullshit, but it just, that shit fell through, it didn't go right, you know what I'm saying, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'm fucking with, I love Kevin Gates, I fuck with who you do, you know what I'm saying, so I'm, I ain't against none of that. I'm with all of this shit. I like to turn up and act up. And then I just need my name out there, man. I'm a hustler. Most you know what I'm saying? I'm a nigga that... I'm the only motherfucker 
ain't nobody in this, I ain't heard nobody in this world talking about that was getting advances off of TuneCore. So fuck a lot of you niggas, you know what I'm saying? You was I've been one of the first to get off TuneCore. You know what I'm one saying? One of the first in Vegas to do it. Vegas and uh, any other city. Ain't, ain't nobody been like, I'm getting advances off TuneCore, nigga. I've been getting advances. Last year I made 60K off rap. You know what I'm saying? My goal was to make 100K. This year is going to be bigger. You know what I'm saying? It's always to make the money off the music. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, my goal is to get 10K. Over well, now, it's about 20K a month. First, my goal was 10K a month. You know what I'm saying? I hit six. I, like I said, I hit 60 last year. Nigga, and they paid me. Nigga, Spotify, all that shit. And all my numbers match up. Fuck y'all. Most definitely, you know bro. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Yeah. Okay. So now, one thing I want to ask you about, you know, what's the difference? Do you think it's the difference between the New York rap scene and the Vegas rap scene? Because I know you fuck with both. Uh, energy. Okay. Energy <clears throat> and repping their own. Like, like I told you, in Vegas, we want, we so worried about being some, like, being somebody, like, comparing to somebody else's number one. Okay. We ain't worried about our own sound. We don't care. Like, niggas be listening to shit that they know they'll listen to. You know what I'm saying? But we so, you, we so, like, we, we, we a big, we a major city. So we drawn, like, they give us all everybody else's music. So that's what everybody think that's what you're supposed to be doing. And then in, in the city, everybody know that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. So it's a weird thing. Like, we want you to be these niggas. But we know we don't want you to be these niggas. We want you to be us. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we got to, we learning. Right now we in, this, we in a phase where, to be 100, I'm going to keep it funky. This is the closest we ever been to wherever we ever been. Like, all the love, even with the hate. We all linked in and we, we supporting it. It used to not, it's never been like, it's been, it's been times people try to do it. But to, at this time right now, Vegas is unified. So it's just, we got to stop holding us to, somebody else's standards because yeah like the truth is this motherfuckers watching what somebody else is somebody else is doing compared to what they the music that they listening to and that's what we comparing ourselves to it's not what the music is we're just comparing it to what other people feel like is top notch and if you that's what if you can say we got songs that sound like that then why you ain't listen to your own niggas if it's, on mat, if it's on match and you got a hundred, if it's a hundred other niggas, then listen to a Vegas nigga. But the choice is motherfuckers like to ride everybody else's dick outside. You know, but it's like that every city. Don't nobody like to fuck with their culture, so I'm not trying to shit on my city. I know what it is. Every city, like, it would major, like, I'm, I seen Dallas having them problems. I seen Hughes, whatever the fuck. I seen the Bay. I seen L.A. had it. Everybody had a problem with these people in the city because really we all compete with each other. And so we be so focused on each other, we don't realize we're not building each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we the ecosystem. And with white people, with white America, let me stop saying white people. With white America, it's an ecosystem. If it's a town and this is everything, if everybody bakery do bakery shit, we gonna build that shit to make sure that bakery system, you know what I'm saying, is fed through forever but with us like you know being black motherfuckers we don't be understanding that shit so city to city we don't understand like we the ecosystem okay. and what i'm trying to tell everybody like it was like it was to be 100 i was looking goofy to niggas because i'm so happy giving my game up to niggas free game and they thinking they did you play me on some shit but i'm just trying to make sure my ecosystem is like the best i want vegas to be you know what I'm saying? I'm, anybody asks me, I tell you we better than every city. Who fuck who you got that's top? I tell you my city better. On my mama. And I stand behind all my artists. And like these ain't my artists, I stand behind my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Period. Everything they do, I stand behind it. Facts. Like anybody asks me, I've always been it. I'm the nigga that show up to everybody's shows, everybody, everything. And I show love to everybody because I know what I'm doing. And I know that giving that love means something, so it might not always, everybody don't be know, but everybody that's an artist knows what I do. And Vegas knows I represent the city. Oh, I don't yeah. rap, I don't push myself. Like I said, I took my Mozzie song, 
It's a, my nigga Tay Bands. Tay Bands, I love this little nigga. He ain't from my shit. He ain't got nothing to do with my click, nothing. We ain't sets, nothing. We ain't friends, you know what I'm saying? But I, I like how he move and I love what everybody say about him. And he, when I chopped it up with him, he came through, he was respectful. But I, so I put him on a movie. He did another song before that. So I'm like, fuck, let me put you on this Mozzie song. I did some other songs with this other nigga, uh, Ty Herbo. He popping in the city. You know what I'm saying? And he, he be killing like blogs. Blogs love these niggas. I just put him on my, I put him on some shit with Mozzie for the fuck of it. Like, it ain't got nothing. It had nothing. We didn't talk about it before. It wasn't a plan, nothing. But I know that if I gave these niggas this algorithm and shit like that, it mattered for my city. So that's what I do. Uh, I got a song with Jay Diggs and got Chosen Rue and Helga Gang Hitty on other shit too. But every time I put like do some, my shit with Mozzie and shit like that, I make sure Helga Gang Hitty on it, even though he from that and shit. I be trying to make sure my city get the algorithm, no matter what the shit is. You feel me? That's what I do. That's why I call my. That's why everybody else call me the Godfather too. You know what I'm saying? I'm the Godfather out here. I didn't, I'm a Las Vegas legend. I've been doing this shit for many moons. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely represent us. You know what I'm saying? First, you know what I'm saying? And I'm taking us and putting us in different places. And anybody that do something, I always make sure I put it out there. You know Most what I'm definitely. saying? Even if it ain't got nothing to do with it. Most definitely, bro.